What's up guys, in this video I'm going to give you the raw truth about choosing signals and just how much of a focus they should have in your game. Alright, so let's start off this video by explaining what exactly a choosing signal is for anyone who's not up to date on the latest PUA lingo. So choosing signal basically means when a girl is giving you an indicator of interest, right? So let's say you're walking down the street and a girl is eye-fucking you, that's a choosing signal. Let's say you're sitting down at Starbucks and a girl just keeps walking around your table hoping you approach her, that's a choosing signal. It's basically any time a girl is communicating to you that she's interested and usually it's going to be indirectly because most girls won't be like, hey, by the way, I want to fuck you because you're attractive, right? It's usually going to be indirectly through eye contact, through proximity, you know, through the way you, her body language and all that stuff. So unfortunately, this is also a topic where there's a lot of confusion. On one end of the spectrum, you have the black pill, red pill community who says that choosing signals are the only way to do games. So you should not approach girls who don't give you choosing signals because those are going to be a waste of time, right? On the end of the spectrum, we have the pickup community who I never even see talking about choosing signals, right? That's almost like they don't matter, they're not important, just approach everybody that you like and, you know, the rest will take care of itself. And as always, the truth lies somewhere in the middle. So here's my approach to choosing signals. Of course, they matter. Of course, they're important. However, you do not want to limit yourself to approaching girls only who give you choosing signals, right? Because frankly, a lot of girls, you know, when you're out and about, the reason they don't give you a choosing signal is because they haven't even noticed you because they're in their own world. They're either listening to music, they're on the phone, they're texting, they're Instagramming. So yeah, maybe if she saw you, she would have the chance to give you the choosing signal, but she hasn't seen you. And furthermore, if you start limiting yourself, like, oh shit, I gotta, I can't approach the girl who hasn't given me a choosing signal, but it's gonna be a waste of time, you're severely limiting your potential. I've had so many situations where a girl didn't give me anything, I approached her and it went extremely well, right? So again, you do not want to limit yourself. So here is my common sense approach. When you leave the house, dress well, look your best. You do want to maximize the number of girls who will find you attractive, right? This is going to help you, you know, first of all, before you approach, and it's going to help you during your approach and after, right? So look your absolute best, get a sharp cut, you know, get some good clothes, maybe get Siberian Husky, whatever you need to do. Secondly, when you're walking around or you're at a bar or you're just anywhere that's social where you're trying to meet girls, don't just be in your own world. Don't be in your head. Don't be on your phone. Actually be looking around, make eye contact with girls and see how they respond, right? So it's, it's kind of like a passive way of pinging and seeing if a girl will give you that choosing signals. However, if you're not getting choosing signals, don't feel bad, don't limit yourself, you still want to approach, especially because if you're a beginner or intermediate even, you might not even recognize that girls are giving you choosing signals, right? Because you're so in your head, you're so stuck, you're so nervous, you might not even pick up on it. So don't limit yourself. But of course, if there's a situation where you have two tens, one of them has been eye-fucking you, the other one hasn't even noticed you, you're going to approach the girl who's been eye-fucking you, right? And then afterwards, you'll approach the other girl. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable, and if you want to show me some choosing signals, then smash that like button, hit subscribe, and click the bell for notification. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.